This actor sprinkled a dash of love into our lives as the charming Chef Paul in one of his movies. Yep, today we're going to be talking about Brendan Penny, and it looks like there's a few Hallmark actresses he's eager to work with. While he has paired up with some of the leading Hallmark ladies like Lacey Chabert, Rachel Lee Cook, and Jen Lilly, he recently shared with us that he wishes of working with these actresses for his next project on the channel. Watch until the end to know who's at the top of his list. But let's start with the third name on his list, a Danish beauty who we all love and definitely can't forget. She helped us realize the true nature of love and must have guessed from my lousy attempts at these puns that I am talking about, Emily Ullerup. We have seen her in movies like Nature of Love, Each Precious Heartbeat, Winter Castle, and Don't Forget I Love You. You'll be thrilled to know that Brendan is eager to reunite with his Chesapeake Shores co-star. Even though they played siblings in the show, Brendan can't resist teaming up with the talented Emily again. He knows some fans might find it weird, but with Emily's charm and talent, who wouldn't want to work with her? If you're a fan of Chesapeake Shores, you were probably devastated when the show came to an end. But don't worry, because Brendan himself shared the hopes for his character, Kevin O'Brien. For those who need a refresher, the show ended with Kevin and his wife Sarah welcoming their son surrounded by their family, including Kevin's dad, Mick O'Brien. It was a sweet ending, but fans were left wondering what would happen if the show continued. Thankfully, Brendan gave us some insight into Kevin's future. I think he's finished medical school and he's a doctor, he shared. Whether or not they stayed in the Chesapeake area, if the show continued, they'd be there perhaps. But I think they're just going on and starting their life. They're starting their own O'Brien family. It's great to hear that Kevin and Sarah are doing well and raising their kids. After all the hardships Kevin faced, including being deployed multiple times to Afghanistan, he deserves a happy ending. And who knows, maybe one day we'll get to see Kevin and the rest of the O'Brien family back on our screens. Fingers crossed. Looks at the cast had a great time filming together. Emily took to Instagram to share this photo saying, For six years, I got to play these wonderful, nutty people's daughter, sister, and brother. It is the longest running job of my career. So much happened in our make-believe world and also in our personal lives. It was a wonderful cushion to have a whole second family to share the ups and downs with. I know they will all move on to great things as they are truly talented people. I will forever be grateful for all that Chesapeake Shores gifted me with. What a great run fam. So will we see this dynamic duo on our screens once more? Do you think it will be weird for them to share the screen on a romantic level? Or are you all game for it? Let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, let's move on to the next actress on Brendan Penny's list who often describes herself as a vagabond. She has stolen our hearts by playing the characters of Jenna, Katie, and Olivia, and we know her as none and only the stunning Merritt Patterson. The two were this close to starring in a project together, but as luck would have it, it wasn't meant to be. Brendan recently opened up about the missed opportunity, lamenting that Merritt wasn't available in the end due to her overlapping schedule. It's a bummer for sure, but we can still hope that Hallmark will grant us one wish. For now, I'd like to propose a what if in classic Marvel style. Imagine that in the multiverse, Brendan's character from Beverly Hills Wedding ends up with Merritt's character from Wedding March 4th, something old, something new. If you don't remember the plots, I got you. In Beverly Hills Wedding, Brooke Dorsey plays the role of Molly, a gifted photographer who hasn't been able to achieve her lifelong dreams due to several roadblocks along the way. However, on this particular day, nothing can dampen her spirits because her little sister is getting engaged to her childhood sweetheart, and Molly is determined to capture every moment on her camera. As the day unfolds, the newly engaged couple is surrounded by their loved ones, including Corey, played by Brendan, a person that Molly never expected to run into. Why? Because he was her ex, who left her abruptly to pursue other interests. Now don't get me wrong, but I didn't personally like the chemistry between the Molly and Corey. It isn't the fault of the actors though, I think the flaw was in the writing. Maybe both the characters should have evolved and pursued different love interests. And for Corey, I like to think that he hits it off with Abby from Wedding March 4th. Why? Abby's getting ready to tie the knot with Rob, played by Andrew Walker. However, things start to get a little bit complicated when Abby starts to feel insecure about her place in Rob's wealthy family. And other than offering occasional words of encouragement, Rob seemed pretty passive about it. As the wedding day draws closer, Abby starts to frantically make last minute changes to everything, from the flowers to the venue, all in an attempt to please her in-laws. While it's understandable to want to impress your partner's family, it's unclear where Abby's sudden desperation is coming from. I think the wedding triggered Abby's underlying insecurities. What do you think? Anyway, this is just a fun thought experiment till we get to see the two actors actually work on a project together. Did you know 95% of our viewers are not currently subscribed to our channel? So please hit that subscribe button down below if you're enjoying this video so we can continue making more. Now, back to the video. Now for the number one name on this list. You may know her as Julie, the charming astronomer who taught us hope in Christmas under the stars. 
Or you know her as Tia, the unstoppable force who made us believe that it's never too late to pursue our dreams in all summer long. And you may also know her as Lauren, the one who taught us the importance of work-life balance. Yes, you got it right, it's Autumn Reeser. Can you believe it? Two of the most prolific actors at the network have never shared the screen together, even though they've both worked on almost 20 Hallmark projects. Brendan was quick to express his admiration for Autumn and said he would jump at the chance to work with her. Well, who wouldn't? Well, I hope the producers and casting directors at Hallmark are paying close attention to this because the magic that this pair could wind up making would be worth every minute of our time. Until that happens, just like Brendan, I can't wait to see this pair light up my screen. Brendan has many good films to his name. He even led Hallmark's first ever Easter-themed movie, Easter Under Wraps. While it's difficult to choose a favorite, I'm very biased towards Pride, Prejudice, and Mistletoe. If you haven't watched it, let me give you all the reasons why you should. It's a modern retelling of the Jane Austen classic, and the gender roles are reversed in this one. Lacey Chabert plays Darcy Fitzwilliam, a successful banker who heads back home to Pemberley to celebrate Christmas with her fam. While there, she ends up working with her old high school debate team rival, Luke Bennett, on organizing a charity auction. And let me tell you, there's some serious chemistry brewing between these two. Watching them go back and forth trying to one-up each other is hilarious and heartwarming all at the same time. Lacey and Brendan are just too cute. Their moments together in the film are filled with so much sparkle and charm, it's hard not to feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Speaking of grey Hallmark pairs, we have recently seen him opposite Aaron Krakow in The Wedding Cottage, which premiered on April 15th. It is part of the network's annual Spring Into Love programming event. The plot was extremely well written. Vanessa, played by Aaron, is a talented author who just released her book, Tying the Knot, A Wedding Guide. In celebration of her book launch, Vanessa has organized a contest for a deserving couple to win the wedding of their dreams, all expenses paid. The lucky couple turns out to be Drew and Matreya who are in a rush to get married because of Drew's deployment and Matreya's graduation. They have their hearts set on a beautiful wedding cottage, but there's one problem. The cottage is in disrepair and closed down. That's where Evan comes in. He's an artist who inherited the cottage from his grandmother and is using it as his temporary home. However, he has no intention of reopening it. Vanessa, determined to make the couple's dream wedding come true, uses her charm and wit to convince Evan to reopen the cottage and help her create a magical wedding experience for Drew and Matreya. As the countdown begins with only five weeks until the wedding, the characters work together to overcome obstacles and make the couple's special day a reality. Along the way, they develop meaningful relationships and discover hidden talents and passions. But what really makes the wedding cottage shine is the on-screen chemistry between Brendan and Aaron. Their friendship and respect for each other in real life translates seamlessly to their characters on screen, making their interactions genuine and heartwarming. I mean, look at their adorable shenanigans on set. During a recent interview, Brendan had nothing but praise for his co-star. Working with Erin is the luckiest thing you can do because she's always prepared. She's super fun and incredibly talented. And she's also lovely, he said. How exciting that the Hearys and the Chessies are going to have a little crossover moment, Erin added, referring to the fans of When Calls the Heart and Chesapeake Shores. She turned up the heat on Instagram by sharing this chemistry-filled photo of a potential kiss between the two characters. By request, a little rom to go with all the con I've been posting, Erin captioned. Brendan wasted no time in responding with a cheeky, ooh baby, classic Brendan. And of course, you know our fans are always ready to chime in too. They didn't hold back, leaving their thoughts in the comments section about that super hot moment on screen. Whoa, please tell me that this isn't one of those almost kisses. LOL, both of you. Hot, another fan said. Gotta love our fandom. Now whether the kiss actually happens or not is something you'll have to find out. Don't forget to tune in and watch The Wedding Cottage. Come back and share your thoughts in the comment section. Looks like they both shared a great time off screen and were really sad to wrap up filming. The pair shared a photo on Instagram with the caption, sad it's over, glad it happened. P.S. Comment below if you want more. We definitely want more of them, don't we? So make sure you let these two goofballs know. Who are you excited to see Brendan work with next? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you liked today's video, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great, great day. See you next time.